My name is Gustavo Gusso. I am family doctor from Brazil. I am part-time professor at the Universidade de São Paulo, part-time family doctor, I see patients. I am my father of uh, two girls, 16 and 13 years old, Beatriz and Leticia. I live in Sao Paulo. I live very close to the Universidade de São Paulo where I teach. So I use metro, I don't take traffic jam every day as people think that Sao Paulo is a crazy city, but I like Sao Paulo. And I go almost every weekend or any time I can outside to Sao Paulo to a very nice uh, place to trek, to go to the mountains, to, to see nature. My kids, they love this as well. So I have a organized life. Uh, and I really like to travel around the world to, to, to visit other countries as well to know more about primary care, what is, what is happening there. I decided to study family medicine, but I didn't know too, so much how to do this. So I go to south of Brazil and in south of Brazil, I found one residency program very uh, mature there for, for our country that was organized by a very visionary family doctor called Carlos Grossman. During the residency, I had contact. It was in the library of my health center, uh, the International Classification of Primary Care. When I took that book, I got loved with the book. I said, well, this is, can organize what we are doing in family medicine. So nowadays I'm currently the chair of the Wonka International Classification Committee and this group started in 1972, but uh, it's still very strong and we have now ICPC-3 released. I think we, we have a big challenge in, in, in the world nowadays, even in Brazil, that primary care needs to be very strong and the family doctors around the world, they have to be very committed to the core values of family medicine, which is the person. We are not focused on disease. We are not focused only in population. We have to see the person. So the international classification of primary care uh, is a classification that try to uh, organize our knowledge in family medicine and to classify what the data that we gather in the consultation, not only the diagnosis or of conditions or uh, the assessment that we do in the consultation, but also uh, the reason for encounter. We have a very uh, interesting discussions, very challenged discussion in the philosophical and conceptual and cultural aspects of medicine. For example, uh, Mark Jamul is a very old and uh, um, experienced member of the group. He developed the concept of Quaternary prevention, which is a very important concept in, in, our, in our specialty that says that we should protect the patient from uh, over-medicalization, over-diagnosis, and sometimes the patient, they have some symptoms, but they don't have any disease. So we, this is a concept that started from a member of this group. For the next years, we have a big challenge in the classification world. They believe sometimes that all the artificial intelligence will solve this problem. It's not true. We have to decide. This is a decision uh, uh, which level of granularity that we want to see the data. So this is the challenge that we have to, to deal in the next years. We have many more strong tools, LLMs, ChatGPT, uh, strong electronic health records. So it's getting more complicated to organize data, although it seems that became more simple because we have more tools. So we, have, we, we are going to live in a very big paradox in the next years. I learned a lot about health system traveling for these meetings. Every year when we go to some, some city that some member of the, the group host, we can understand how he or she works, how the system works, how the electronic health record works or doesn't work, and how they schedule consultation, how they are paid. So this is very interesting because then we can connect the data, the focus of the group with other issues, and then we can understand the whole picture of primary care around the world. I am a very happy family doctor and I am very happy 
uh, to be here in Wonka and helping uh, other family doctors to, to have their happy career. <laughs>